Good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you all uh, for joining us this evening. Uh, my name is Krishna. I'm one of the founders and uh, the president at a company called Loven Systems. We actually uh, developed our first product called uh, Devo, uh, which is a cognitive uh, decision-making platform. So even before I get started uh, justifying the title about opportunity-driven enterprise, uh, I like to uh, quickly walk you through the journey from data to wisdom. You know, how do you evolve from data to wisdom, right? So pretty much everybody sits on a uh, wide variety of data sources in the enterprise. We all know that, right? So what do we typically do with this data, right? So when you look at different data sources, we consume some information, right? When we consume some information, that typically uh, becomes, uh, uh, you know, your data that becomes most usable. That is called information, right? So let's say in this scenario, you're looking at gross margin, you're looking at sales, or you're looking at uh, comparative sales, right? But when you start collecting, you know, the pieces of information together, you eventually start building something like this, right? Uh, you know, uh, the relationships between the different data points in the enterprise, right? So when you start connecting the dots between, you know, the sales or the sales growth, or you're looking at the growth rate, you could literally call this as knowledge, right? So when you start you know, putting together these different pieces of knowledge together, you know, this is what we typically look at, right? We identify the patterns or the relationships on, uh, you know, what is likely to sell, right? Uh, why is a customer inclined to purchase a certain product or, you know, what promotion is going to work well? So when you start, you know, putting all, uh, putting the different blocks together of knowledge, and when you apply a context to it, right? In this scenario, you know, you apply uh, weather or you look at, uh, you know, uh, uh, the behavior of the user. When you start applying an external context to your pieces of knowledge, that eventually becomes wisdom, right? So this is exactly, uh, you know, what we try to deliver in the product here at Devo. So what we have done differently here is, you know, taking this, wisdom, right? Packaging pieces of wisdom together and creating an opportunity for the business is what we try to demonstrate here at Devo. So when you start looking at, you know, the different pieces of wisdom, how do you package it together, right? So can it help solve a specific business problem or can it help you solve a specific business use case is the whole premise around, you know, Devo. And this is what we typically try to demonstrate and what we uh, uh, what we do differently is we apply the principles of cognitive computing on how can we bring wisdom back to the business and putting business solutions first. You know, so this is what we call it as the opportunity framework, where we are taking all the wisdom out of your data and then putting it back to the business user is what we typically do here. So at a very high level, uh, Devo is a cognitive decision-making platform. So uh, it has three key characteristics. The first characteristic is really, you know, the ability for, uh, you know, a human to interact with a machine in a natural language, where the machine is able to understand uh, the business context behind the question, and most importantly, it is also able to provide the contextual insight as well. So that is the first characteristic, and the second one is, it it does produce any kind of insights based on hypothesis and evidence, and the last one is, like I just described, it creates this blocks of wisdom into a framework called opportunity framework. So these are the three key principles that we have. Otherwise, Devo is called data in, wisdom out at a high level. Uh, you know, so to give you uh, how the system works at a high level, so technically behind the scenes, uh, uh, Devo is working in the background, trying to talk to a number of data sources, you know, uh, trying to unfold the business context behind the data and then pressing it in the form of a business opportunity is how Devo really works. And to give you a, a perspective, you know, the way it can sense the opportunities out of the uh, data and create blocks of wisdom and have the business uh, explore what those opportunities are. And most importantly, when you talk about an AI class system, the true art of machine learning should come back from the user too. So the system learns from the user on the business aspect of the application. So that's a very important uh, uh, characteristic for Devo. 
Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, uh, to give you uh, a full perspective about Devo, it is fully enabled to produce uh, any kind of contextual uh, rich insights based on the data it consumes on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me play a, a quick video that should give you a good feel about how the system should work at a high level. Uh. Every year, an estimated $472 billion of revenue in North America is lost just from the cost of excess stock. Stock levels always need to be brought down to make room on the shelves for new products and collections. Otherwise, the need for quick clearance forces big discounts and heavy losses. Now meet Emily, VP of Supply Chain Management. Her task? To bring stock levels down by 3% before her spring collection arrives. As the opening day steadily approaches, she has to figure out the most effective way to reduce her excess stock and maximize revenue recovery. In a moment like this, Emily wishes she had an extra six weeks to resolve the situation, or better yet, a sixth sense to predict her excess stock buildup. But Emily does have a secret weapon on her side, and it's Dewo, her cognitive sixth sense. Dewo has been running in the background this entire time, finding solutions for Emily's business. Dewo, her continuous business optimization engine, does not only sense the excess stock situation well in advance, but it also provides actionable insights about its causes and potential impact. After exploring countless options and variations, Dewo presents a strategy that would result in a revenue recovery of 62%. Dewo recommends pushing 172 units to her Soho location, which has an urgent requirement, as well as marking down 80 units at a 60% discount between January and February. Emily is impressed with Dewo's incredible capabilities, but being thorough, she wants to know the potential outcome of this strategy. What will the forecasted sales look like over the following three months? How will the markdown impact related products? The sheer number of reports, spreadsheets, IT consultations, and analysis that need to be dug through are endless, and Emily will have to wait several nail-biting weeks to receive the data back from her consultants. But the answers to all these questions, and more, are easy to find. All Emily has to do is talk to Dewo or type a question. No data scientists required. Now, Emily wants to investigate the situation further. Dewo's decide feature is perfect for this kind of what-if analysis. Emily brings up Dewo's interactive visual tool for markdown strategy development and with simple widget controls can see the impact of variations in the recommended strategy. What would happen if she changed one of the variables? For instance, what if she marks down by 65% instead of the recommended 60%? And what if she postpones the markdown by a week? Within minutes, Emily has an excess stock prevention strategy and the confidence that she's just made the best possible decision for her organization. Emily has Dewo at her fingertips. Just imagine if you had it at yours. Thank you guys, uh, thanks for your patience. So let me try to give you uh, a live demo of the application. Uh, so I'm really not sure how fast the internet is, but please bear with me, we'll give it a shot here. Um, So essentially what you're looking at here is, you know, the internet good connection evening, seems Paul. to be very slow. Hope you are having a good day. Last time we interacted, you were looking at sales performance, profitability markdown, and excess stock scenario across stores. So it starts with cognition, helps the user understand, you know, where did he uh, leave the last time when he interacted with the system? You know, how did he uh, talk to the system? In what capacity? But otherwise, to give you a quick example, uh, which product is likely to sell well with cross-body bags? Following products are likely to sell with cross-body bags. I see stronger affinities for same or similar products in bags. Would you be interested? The selling propensity of shoulder bags with aviator sunglasses is higher when bundled at a price band of $140 to $145. So again, uh, running out of time here, this is how it delivers rich contextual insights 
and uh, this is what Devo is all about. Thank you again. Thank you all for joining me this evening, guys. Thank you.